Hey guys, I just want to make this video about what you guys should consider buying even before you actually buy the Mac itself. Whether you guys are planning on buying a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, you will notice that these Macs only come with this on the side. This is USB-C. On the other side, we just have this. These for your headphones, but that's about it. There's nothing more that goes into your Mac. So that's why when it comes to accessories, we need this. This right here is an adapter. This is what you need to plug it in right here on your Mac. So on the side, we're gonna need to plug it in there. And then we have this hub where we can plug in USB sticks or external hard drives. Without this, most of your external hard drives, you will not be able to plug them in unless they have a cable for USB-C but most external hard drives at the moment don't. So that's why we need these hubs. Or if you just wanna buy something more simple, we do have these. So these guys are pretty simple, same thing. They're not hubs, we just plug them in on the side as well. And then we can just plug anything right here, external hard drive or anything like that. Including if you guys have an iPhone, older iPhones, which don't have USB-C, you would need an adapter to hook it up to your Mac. So this is the type of adapter that you need. It's just a regular USB-C to USB adapter, okay? So that's how they look like. They're really cheap. They're about three to six dollars, these little guys. And this one here is a little bit more expensive. This one's about 10 bucks or so. But it's definitely worth it to get one of these instead of the little guys, just because, like I mentioned, we only have two spaces, right? And if you're thinking about charging up your Mac and having other stuff hooked up to it at the same time, well, guess what? In order to charge up your Mac, you're gonna need to plug it in right here to one of the sides, your charger. So that's one off and you're only gonna have one left in order to plug anything in. And that's when this comes in. So really, you're only gonna have one space left over because over here, you're gonna charge your computer. I'm gonna show you something else. This is if you guys would like to plug in your Mac to any monitor. You would need something like this. Now, the same thing goes if you guys have an iMac, for example. New iMacs also have USB-C, so you could plug this in USB-C, and then this is to HDMI. So HDMI cable will go directly to your monitor. So this is the type of thing that you would need for that. These are just different adapters. This one's also pretty cheap. This one's about five bucks or so. Now again, if you want, just want to go cheap, just make sure when you're buying one of these that for sure they have to be USB 3.0. Don't buy the older versions that have 2.0. That's way too old. There's a lot of stuff that requires 3.0 nowadays. So don't buy the cheap stuff, buy one of these. Also would like to mention before you buy a Mac, whether it's a MacBook Pro, or a MacBook Air, any of the new ones, you always have that USB-C. But keep in mind, if it's an M1 that you're buying with that special chip, not all your programs might run on them, okay? So just make sure that your programs are actually gonna run. And if you guys have any professional software, uh, just go to the website and check out if that software is compatible with the new M1, because you might end up just returning the Mac it's not compatible at all. For example, for you streamers out there that like to gameplay and connect capture cards such as Elgato, which is one of the most popular ones at the moment, that capture card is not compatible with the new Max M1s. You might see some people using it at this point in time, but it's not perfect. It glitches, it comes pixelated or it doesn't work properly, it cancels. It's just not there. And even on their website, the state that it's not fully compatible yet. So although it's been a few months, they still have not made all the software compatible with M1s. And that's the fault of actually the software developer, not really Mac. So just keep that in mind before you go out and buy a new M1 Mac. Also, if this is your first Mac, keep in mind I do have a video showing you guys the manual for actual Mac so you guys know how to handle it because it is way different than Windows. And there's a bunch of programs that are also still not compatible with Macs and they're only compatible with Windows as well. Although yes, we can install Windows on a Mac. Anyways, that would be it for this really quick video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.